Hello, my name is Yvonne Ines. I'm a diabetes educator for the Pacific Islander in Utah, concentrating on the Tongan community. I also have diabetes type 2. The challenge that we face is trying to know and be familiar with the glucometer. The best thing that ever happened to us is having a glucometer, but we need to understand it. Because the people around us, even me, I do not know the numbers until I was taught what the numbers are. If we could only have a glucometer that have an alarm in there, then when it's before and after lunch, it's ring. And then when the numbers are high, it's uh, have an alarm that says you're high. And when it's low, it says you're low. Uh, I have a woman in the Tongan community that um, she took her test, her granddaughter helped her, and her test read as 350, and she doesn't even know what the numbers are. So if we have a glucometer that will, when it's 350, it ring and say, you need help. That is what we really need, and that's what I ask you to please work with that. And, uh, and the, all the people, they need a test strip, or make, don't be afraid to make the glucometer bigger, with a, a bigger number, so the people that have, that cannot see very well can look at it. And talking from the people in the community, that if uh, they can do it themselves rather than asking other people to come help them, uh, that's the best thing to do. And they're afraid to break their fingers, they're afraid to see blood. If you can scan, if you have a glucometer that, have, that can be scanned, that will really be nice. So it will just put it in their arm and scan and tell you the numbers. Thank you.